Hey everyone, it's Jeff and Henry here from Volant and the Badminton Podcast. This is episode one of On the Edge of Your Seat, a series where we look at the most exciting players and pairs to watch in each category and pick our favorites. These are the players that keep us on the edge of our seats and we always look forward to watching. So today we're gonna to talk about men's singles and I'm gonna start with Lee Zhejia of Malaysia. I think that's a good one. Yeah. He's always so explosive. He's got huge smashes. He thunders down and backhand smash. So mm. everyone loves to watch a backhand smash, right? Yeah. And I think like at the professional level, you kind of see this conventional standard of play, but then you get someone like Zajar who's so unorthodox mm. in some of his shots where yeah. it's like he whips it all the way around the back. And, and it's like, what is that? His arm is just crazily going on weird angles. That I don't think my shoulder even moves that way. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. It's just, he's just such a dynamic player. Mm. Yeah. And so, even his footwork, it's a little bit mm. different, right? It's not that smooth. Kind of he's fast, like, but he's but kind it's of like, fast. yeah, yeah. It, it's weird. And then he plays his net shots, he's like hanging really big. And, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and he, he looks very intimidating when he does that as well. He's yeah. just like covering the entire <laughs> net. So he's a big man. Yeah. yeah, and then just some of the defensive positions he's in, like mm. he'll play cross court blocks from. Yeah. Full stretch diving cross court is crazy as well. So yeah, that's yeah. always really interesting. He's very good right? at holding his core. Like mm. That's that core strength. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's a good one to start. What about uh, Lo Kian Yu, Singapore? Yeah. So former world champion, but I, I like watching him play because he's also, like his footwork's very, very fast and mm. he can hit really good winners from everywhere. But I think that he's a bit unconventional in that he doesn't really play like that strict in terms of a game plan i feel mm. he just kind of goes with the field goes through shots and when he's playing really well it can be really exciting to watch yeah i think it's a good one i, I guess to your point from a strategic perspective he certainly has developed in the mm. last year or so yeah uh, but you tend to find that he has this sort of one gear one track mindset yeah, yeah. a lot of the time and yeah. that's what makes it so exciting because he's yeah. just like going hard and fast all of a sudden just yeah. out of nowhere yeah yeah i remember talking to some of the top european singles players when i was over there for a training camp mm. and they were actually saying we're really glad that he doesn't do the analytics too much yeah. because I'd be like, they were saying we'd be in a lot of trouble if he went down to the granular level and did something more analytical. But I feel yeah. that that's quite tricky for him to do because of his style. He's very natural, generally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. It's it's kind of whatever's on his mind, he's just doing it. Just doing it at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe it would actually make him worse if he actually went Yeah, down maybe too that restricted. Pathway. He'll be too yeah. restricted and can't play his free, can't play free. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And look, I'm gonna add a third one into this, and that is Lee Chuk Yu from Hong Kong. <laughs> Yes, from Hong Kong. That, that, that's homegrown, yeah, homegrown because yeah. of your Hong Kong background. I think is there a bit of bit of bias there? There is probably a little bit of bias there, but what I like about Chuk Yu is that he is so fast, so aggressive, and, and also emotional. I think he, it ties into that overall experience. Yeah, when spectator you do experience. Yeah yeah, 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 exactly. He can get pretty fiery, mm. and he's yeah, he smashes everything. Yeah, like he can just move around, turn anything, and smash it. So yeah, yeah. it's pretty it's just fun a fast. to watch. Fast, uh, fast-paced game, always mm. exciting, right? Yeah, exactly. We are leaving out someone who's dominating the times right now, and we are. We are. Yeah. So we're leaving out Victor Axelsson, mm. and then more recently, um, Kunvalut. Uh, yes, yeah, yes. So I think they're good, but would they fall in the top three? I wouldn't put them in the top three. I'll, I'll speak to Axelsson specifically. Obviously, yeah. world number one, great player, fantastic Olympic champion. He's very tall, He's he, he kind of gets to things very easily. It's almost like there's not as much excitement. Obviously he's an amazing player, mm -hmm. but it just doesn't excite me all that much when I'm watching him. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's fair. I think that he hits all these thunderous smashes, but I think that it's not, it's not as exciting maybe to watch as some of the other players we've mentioned in terms mm. of yeah, in ter terms of the way he plays. Yeah, what and about Vidisan? Vidisan, I felt that he was kind of more of a conventional, just good at everything player. But mm. when I did watch him just more recently, when he did beat Axelsson, I mm. saw a new kind of level. So he's actually come up on this exciting level for me because he, I felt that he really took the game to Axelsson. He really, mm. I saw a bit of flair that I didn't see usually. Yeah. So that that was really exciting for me. Yeah. yeah. So who do you think, I reckon? So I think uh, the first two that we mentioned, so we mentioned mm. Lee Zijar, yeah. um, Le Kien Yu, and then Lee Chuk Yu. And then honorable mentions to Axelsson and Vidit yeah. Sun. But I'm gonna go, out of the top three, I'm gonna go for Lee Zijar as my pick. That's a fair pick. Look, I'm gonna agree with Jeff's pick. And 
yeah, I think out of all of them, he's just the most dynamic yeah. um, to watch and most exciting. So that's our pick. What about you guys? Who is your favorite player to watch that you wouldn't miss a match? Leave your comment below and we'll see you on the next episode. Bye. Bye.